Manila Bay has found itself in a recent rise of land reclamation projects in the hopes of boosting the economy by providing more jobs and creating a picturesque cityscape in the Bay Area. At the cost of irreversible environmental damage to marine life which I have discussed in a previous video which you can find here. Aside from the permanent destruction of marine habitats, geologists led by Dr. Kelvin Rodolfo have brought up peer-reviewed articles that support claims of geological and hydrometeorological hazards of these land reclamation projects in Manila Bay, which should now be taken seriously more than ever. As recent earthquakes in Syria and Turkey have shown very grim consequences to its citizens. But these safety concerns are often overshadowed by the desire for profit by private companies along with low priorities from public authorities. In this video, we'll be going through these hazards and understand the risks it poses not only to the inhabitants of the reclaimed land but also to the surrounding areas as well. Liquefaction one of the major concerns of these projects is the liquefaction of soil used in reclamation projects. Often caused by strong earthquakes, loosely packed and waterlogged sediments lose contact with one another and become viscous like quicksand. Which then causes a chain reaction to structures placed on top of these unstable surfaces to tilt and sink into the ground, and in worse cases, collapse. What makes this alarming is that liquefaction has been observed in Tokyo Bay's reclaimed area. During the 2011 Tohoku earthquake, causing major damage to roads, buildings, and underground infrastructure. Geologists have heavily advised against building in these artificial land masses in Manila Bay. Knowing that Philippines is part of the infamous Ring of Fire and is very seismically active. Metro Manila is also sitting on top of the West Valley Fault which in itself is a ticking time bomb and could cause severe damage to buildings even on solid ground. We have been fortunate that no powerful earthquakes have recently struck anywhere near Metro Manila. But as more land reclamation projects are approved and created, more lives are put at risk by these reclaimed areas when these geological disasters eventually hit the region. Land subsidence. The gradual sinking of the Earth's surface due to the removal or displacement of subsurface Earth materials, like mineral deposits and underground aquifers, has become a common occurrence in Metro Manila. Specifically in the Kamanava and Manila regions which are sinking at 4.2 cm per year and 2.5 cm per year, respectively. Land subsidence not only increases the risk of flooding on these areas but also worsens its effects. These issues are only aggravated by the rising sea levels due to global warming. Aside from global warming, the additional weight of these reclaimed areas and the buildings built on them can also exacerbate the sinking of the region. Issues have also been brought up concerning coastal reclamation areas restricting the flow of water from draining into the bay properly. Which might not directly affect the actual reclaimed areas, but will definitely cause widespread problems to nearby coastal villages in the Bay Area that are already suffering from flooding and damages of storm surges as it is. The points brought up in these videos might look cynical. Knowing that these land reclamation projects are proposed for the economic benefit of the country. But we should also put a high priority on the lives that will be affected by these actions and avoid unnecessary risks that will cause loss of life when these natural disasters eventually come. Instead of focusing on land reclamation with higher risks, the authorities should also look into expanding inland where there is more than enough real estate needed and will also let off some pressure on an already overpopulated area. This wraps up and completes my info video research on the negative effects of land reclamation to Manila Bay. If you have not checked it out, please see part 1 of my video focusing on the environmental impacts here. As usual, what do you think of these land reclamation projects in Manila Bay? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let your ideas be heard. Thank you so much for reaching the end of the video. If you enjoyed this presentation, Please like and subscribe, or even share it with your friends or family to spread awareness about these topics. See you next week on my next video.